guys, welcome back once again. Right now, I'm here at Ingolstadt Hauptbahnhof. This is the main station, and this is where the headquarters of Audi is. Look at this whole train is loaded with Audi, and I think that's how they transport within the region, maybe within the country, or major productions of Audi happens here right here in this city and then distributed around the world anyway so i started my journey from munich of banoff took me about an hour to get here and from here i'm taking another train which will take me to nuremberg hauptbahnhof um, and then from nuremberg hauptbahnhof i'm heading to erlangen hauptbahnhof which is the main station and this is where um, yeah I'm, I'm meeting one of my friend who's working there in siemens and um, yeah he's going to show me the headquarters so yeah i think this is my train Welcome back once again. So today I'm here in FAU University. I have Rajiv here who's going to walk us through the whole university. But before we go ahead, Rajiv, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? I'm Rajiv. I come from Bhubaneswar, Odisha, and I've done my bachelor's in physics from Delhi University. I've been here from around 1.5 years pursuing my master's in material physics. So right. Yeah. Do you come with any work experience? So I had six months of lab work like as a research assistant so that that I did I just did it with my university so yeah right. that's, that's all I did and your degree was for 3 years yes i did a 3 year course and how much did you score it was 7.18 cgpa in german grade it would be 2.41 when you applied for university in germany was this the only university or you applied other schools also so the thing is i wanted to do since i'm doing physics and uh, i did physics and i'm doing materials physics i wanted something which would come in between which will bridge the whole physics and materials and because I did not want to do engineering and material science right, right. so I picked this I also applied for TU Darmstadt but they expected a four-year course so yeah yeah so that's why I, I just I wanted to get in summer semester and yeah, so this is where I and I like the professors some of the professors that I, I followed their work and uh, I was interested in what they do so, yeah. and right behind me is a Schloss is that am I correct yep this is the Schloss Garten. Schloss Garten, uh, this is where we are right now. Pretty much every building what you see around us has association with FAU. Yeah. Right? Or some of the other faculty. Mm -hmm. Like, do you have any classes here in this beautiful building? Actually, we have most of uh, our events, auditorium, where the... So like, ceremonies usually yeah, take place here? Yeah, in this place. Okay, okay. And this area is mostly the library. And yeah. some of the classes from humanities department happen in there. Some, some of them here. This is in the main castle this? of the, yeah. We will show you from the front also. You just have to go that side. How many campuses are there for FAU? Okay, so there are almost four. What are the names? The big ones would be technical faculty, tech fac. There's a nat fac, which is close to tech fac. And there's this one, which is the slots, plots, mostly the administration things are in here. The examination department. And there's a theoretist faculty which has all the humanities and uh, arts and human yeah. rights, all the courses on that side. So yeah. Or and there are some few other secluded uh, research sections where they work with biomaterials. So that's like a small campus close mm. to the river. Okay. People, international students, what is relevant for them? Which one? Which campus? So I think most of the international students who come here for engineering, but at least Indian ones, yeah, so yeah. they come from engineering and so technical faculty would be quite important for them. But their first day, they would have to come here because of the administration. Right. Program. Just for your remembrance, look at this fountain and right opposite to this fountain, there is this building which we're going to take you there. We're going to take you there and we're going to show you that first day when you arrive here in this university, where you have to go. From that fountain right there right there you just walk for like two minutes and this is the building what you see this is where you're supposed to come first day what work do you get done here when you come here first day? um so the first thing you would need to do is go inside the student center and uh, talk to them like submit your papers because you need to submit your originals so that's a enrollment process yes that's the enrollment process and then student id card 
that will be sent to you by post so you give your address whatever address you have and uh, yeah before doing that the first thing you have to do after reaching the city city registration obviously yeah. so the document that you get you have to present here so from that building just opposite to it there is another beautiful looking building again uh, which belongs to FAU you can see the banners like huge ones what is this faculty by the way uh, this is not a faculty this is more like an administration, administration office, office but uh, I'm not sure about it but I think there are some classes happening for humanity so right so basically the main city center campus is more to do with administration yeah does the university keep you busy it depends so normally we have to complete uh, 30 credits in one semester but you can definitely choose they provide a lot of flexibility mm -hmm. be it examination dates be it timing be it tutorials and all the other things so you can fabricate your schedule according the way you want you want one day off you can take extra classes one day and then you can oh. get a day off so so normally people who work so they adjust their uh, timing in a way that they have a four day week mm -hmm. where they have like one half day even mm -hmm. so they can work like for 15 or 20 or 10 or whatever time they have so yeah that's, okay that's what about part-time jobs here yeah you can get it i would say german the knowledge of german at least b1 is quite important mm -hmm. but not mandatory because when i got my job i was not very good at it but yeah but i did like a2.1 or something like that but uh, the most important thing is uh, you need to adjust to the culture you need to learn the way people want like you have to know what, what, how it is and you have to be very good at communicating with people i think that's necessary in every job pretty much yeah, yeah. yeah. and anywhere in the world yeah yeah so there are part time jobs available given that you know a bit of german right? yeah, yeah. Uh, anyways you are allowed to work for 20 hours a week um, depends on the kind of course you have and how busy this university is keeping um, there is no set standard answer that you will go here and you will have time to make money. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, uh, Rajiv, what about cost of living here in Erlangen? That also depends, but uh, I would say the minimum amount that you need, uh, like the breakdown would be around 105 for your insurance. Mm -hmm. uh, Bonheim would cost somewhere around 220 to 300, a cheap one, like okay. a decent one. Yeah, yeah. And. Uh, yeah, so that's 500, like around 400, 450 and groceries around, depends on how much you consume, but again 70, 80 would be average. Mm -hmm. If you cook at home. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you if, forgot that, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, otherwise it can go 700 and up. And right. I'm saying that from personal experience. <laughs> right, right. But yeah. So uh, roughly uh, 650 to 700? That'll be much comfortable. Like I, I think if you are good enough like I think 500 to 550 is more enough that's a good part about this city it's not very comfortable right. alright guys so the second half of the video we have Tanu here and she will be helping us to go around the other campus where major classes usually happens but before we go ahead give us your profile a bit of introduction please. Sure. Uh, hello everyone I am Tanu and I'm doing my masters in advanced signal processing and uh, communications engineering and I uh, it's an elite program in this campus and yeah, that, that, and I did my bachelor's in uh, electronics and communications with a grade point of 9.04 mm -hmm. and I guess uh, it's a quite good uh, op opportunity for me to do it here because uh, it gives me scope of uh, my research and uh, surely doing, helping me out in doing my PhD. Which, which were the other colleges you applied for signal processing? I applied for uh, TU Darmstadt mm -hmm. and the FAO, that's it. And you got there also? I got there also, yeah. Okay, she got selected there also. Anyway, so the point of this video is to show you guys around a bit. That's her profile. What is the name of this uh, campus? It's called the Technical Faculty. Technical Faculty. If you want to reach to Tech Faculty Campus, there's this bus stop. 280, 287 and 293 will bring you here. Yes, but uh, the 287 is the bus which takes you to the city centre. Uh -huh. From here and then city centre. Yes. You okay. can directly go to the city centre and then to the Bahnhof from there. So 287 is the main bus, bus which runs from here. And the rest, other two buses are to near the by dorms or from to nearby places to go. Right. Tanu, uh, if somebody is coming for the first time, they have never travelled to Germany or in fact abroad, um, and they are coming to London in, in, in FAU, then how can they reach here? For me, uh, I came to Frankfurt, I got down to Frankfurt, from there I travelled to Nuremberg by train. Okay. And from Nuremberg to Erlangen, and from Erlangen to here by bus. Okay, so... so it was like a long train journey and then we, it's, it's quite difficult to come here, but then yeah, for the first time it pays off. But when you look back now, 
if you were to change something and make it more efficient i would i would i wouldn't change anything because it is all fine it was perfect that that's the way you should come here so from india to frankfurt yeah. frankfurt to nuremberg nuremberg to elan elan okay were you carrying like lot of bags yeah i had like five bags with me because air india How was did you manage all this things? was there someone with you no so you can also do that yeah i can I guess everyone can do that. Right now, this is where I'm outside engineering of advanced uh, materials, and uh, right behind me, this is the car what runs purely by water. That's what I've been told. Right, Tanu? This this runs purely by water. Okay, this is the level of research we are talking about. There is also one special thing what uh, Tanu has. Uh, she has got a scholarship uh, because it's an elite program. My course offers a student job, and it is funded by the Bavarian government, the elite network of Bavaria, and they give you 893 euros per month. That's like the minimum uh, amount which a student needs to come to Germany from India. So if you have a blocked account, also you have to show every month 893 or 863 yeah. euros. So that's how them they pay, how much they pay you for the job you do, and that's an on-campus job. So you choose your. So for me, I choose my mentor, I choose my professor with the area of interest I I, I have, and then the work is like wonderful. I've been doing it for a year now. So it's, right. It's really nice. So basically, what she said is, uh, she didn't show blocked account uh, because she already had a letter. uh from the university when she got selected which she took uh, along with her for the student visa yes and how many students are given the scholarship what do you have so the course just takes 12 students 12, 12. to 14 that's it they don't take more than that right i mean the out amount of, of what applicants. out of 600 applications only 12 to 13 are given the scholarship so yeah okay what's next museum ah huh? okay have you been inside been one in four shine wala okay it's like like mostly naye wale jo bhi x day you can experience all the different things or different product line there okay okay i think this is more about mind can and how you start with x ray and how mm -hmm. sort of fancy things right we still have preserved this is the way met purana lag raha pura